Hey Knights fans, this is John Denton of UCFAthletics.com. I'm here with UCF Hall of Famer and wide receivers coach Sean Becton. When we come back, we're going to talk about a big, strong receiver who should bring a physical presence to the Knights receiving core. There are universities that have a hundred years head start on us, but discoveries don't come from age. They come from innovation. At UCF, we play by new rules. We're pushing the limits. We're growing, inventing, and creating. Because fitting in is not standing out. A hundred years head start, pretty impressive. But this is our time, and we're just getting started. Back with UCF Hall of Famer Sean Becton. Coach, we're going to talk about Darren Uwe, six foot three, 200 pounds, out of South Florida. Talk about having a receiver with the, in that physical presence mode. Well, we're very excited about Darren Uwe, um, guy that poses a lot of size and a physical ability. They've used him in, in a lot of different situations at Miami New Orleans. Uh, they used him at tight end when they needed somebody physical in there to block. And they also split him out wide. You know, if they wanted to throw the ball deep to him, a guy with size in the red zone, um, he was a kid that caught 14 touchdowns, which led all of Dade County. Mm -hmm. So he was also a kid that uh, made the all-Dade Dade team, which is a compliment in himself. Coach, he was a state runner-up his junior year. He won a state title his senior year. He's been in big games. How much do you like bringing kids here who've played before big crowds, been in big games, know how to make big plays in big games. Right, and that's one of the things that, you know, in the recruiting process, you know, I took note of a kid that's, that's played a lot of football throughout his years. Uh, last year was a state runner up. So he was in, in, in big games and, and especially coming out of the Miami area where, those, where the competition level, you know, extremely, you know, um, you know verse far as uh, some of the other parts of the state. And then this past season, you know, watching him in the state championship game really, really sold me mm -hmm. on a kid that can, can come in here and, and possibly help us in a various different uh, situation as far as special team because he's so strong, physical, and also he can run. Uh, another kid you know, in the receiving core that has tremendous ball skills. You know, he can catch, you know, make the tough catches and also, you know, break a lot of tackles in doing it. Anybody who's followed UCF football through the years knows that your name is all over the record books. How much does it help you? You were a receiver. How much does it help you evaluating a guy like Darren and his potential, what he can become as a receiver? Right. Well, making project projections on kids as, as you over the years, um, you try to you know see the guys that you have in your program and see where you can, you know, each kid that you recruit was going to fit in the, within the program. You know, guy that has evaluated Brandon Marshalls and Mike Walkers. You know, I see this kid being in the cut in the mode of a Brandon Marshall because he because his his uh, physical stature. You know, he's six three. You know, with a lot of body growth to to begin begin even bigger. Um, looking at his, uh, his his brothers, you know, that are, I met through the recruiting process, those are big guys. So he may even get bigger. You know, and also be able to keep his his uh, fluidness and and. Um, uh, pass catching ability. You talked about he they used him at tight end some, they split him out some. I mean he sounds like a guy who knows how to go up into traffic and, and, and get a ball. I mean that's that's a big key for a receiver, right? Yes it is. You know, it, and and one of the things going into this recruiting uh, process this year, we needed to get bigger mm -hmm. and we definitely did that with this kid here. He was a guy that we had on our radar uh, that we really kind of discovered here late in the recruiting process. And once we, we evaluated him and, and went full bore on him, he was a guy that was at the top of our list, you know, as far as a recruit. That's the recap on Darren Uwe, a name that should be easy to remember for Knights fans for years to come.